How you doing? Today we are going to give a quick little lesson. How you doing, everybody? On um, how to do a little type of implosion. We're going to use some um, 20 mil. We'll chop some of this down real quick. And uh, what we're going to be working on with this kind of like a, um, some people use them as mushrooms, some people use them as octopuses, some people use them as jellyfish. Today, for the demo purposes, we're going to do a quick little jellyfish. And what I like to do is get my piece of glass down into a round bottom. basically have a brown bottom shape then what we're going to do is we're going to come over to our fuming materials we got some silver and gold we're going to warm up the glass a little bit first hit it with some silver a little better fuming on this I don't have too much silver on here so I was just doing a real light coat then we're gonna grab some gold Let's pump up our oxygen a little bit Once we got enough of it on there, kind of like that, we're going to go ahead and warm up this whole area. And we're going to blow a small bubble. The reason we fumed it first and then are blowing the bubble is I find that this fuming technique is a little bit better for this. Puff it out in two times, then we're really slow with this heat. At this point, we got a nice little round bubble like this. We're going to grab some 3 mil. Some 3 mil clear. Then we're going to put some random dots on this. But when I say random, I mean think of it. Jellyfish isn't very symmetrical, but it is as far as its tentacles. So I'm going to go one up, one down, one in the middle, one around it. Maybe a bigger one, smaller ones around. I'm more on the random on this. For normal implosions, you want to be very symmetrical to make those things look like amazing in this situation we want it to look organic so I have some small some medium some a little bit fatter than others warm it up real quick I'm back here to show it to you guys just like you would in a regular implosion melting your dots some people don't like to knock off all the gold and silver I'm kind of on the 50-50 I knock some of it off as I'm going I find I get a better coloring effect but I'm also a little heavier the way I lay it and by the time I put my dots on it should be already 
good enough in there. I don't know if you could see, but if you look in there, oh, no, you can't see, but it's already starting to implode. So we'll just keep spinning here for a little while. Now there's a couple people do it differently. I tend to do it a way that I saw someone doing this in soft glass which tends to be way different sometimes but yet sometimes very similar to how we work boroblast so by this point I'm kinda like if you look at my elbow it's kinda having the glass pointing down instead of being flat I'm kind of in an angle to make sure it droops but as it's drooping it's pulling all this glass in with it and doing this beautiful implosion. Now, halfway through it, I like to flatten it. And I give it a little twist. And then now what I do is I heat right in the middle and I get that implosion to come all up again. And then I want it to like really go deep. So right now, I keep turning it and turning it. You'll see the implosion, how it starts forming like tentacles or flower petal looking things. And I'm going to start stretching it down even more than I was before because I want it to look all stretched out. It's a little hot right now, but can't tell. The tentacles are in there. And what I like to do is heat just a little tip and pull back on some of this glass while giving a twist. Cool down a second so you guys could see. Um, remember, they like to put amber purple or something like that on top of it. I guess we could do something like that, or have a different color, some Mumka, blue lightning. All right, there we go. So as you guys see, the tentacles are in there, kind of like rounded shape. Let's see if my black shirt does better. So now what we're going to do is on this part right here, we're going to just add a tiny bit of color. This is where our head is going to be for our sea creature. And when I say a tiny bit, I mean I probably put maybe like a size of a, a pea on there. Melt that in. Let that kind of droop over. Kind of becomes one. Then I come with some clear. Six mil. And I keep this hot. And then what I'm going to do is get another clear make a gather on this side and then what we're going to do is we're going to heat that up make a nice little marble on here once we have our marble we're going to attach it to the top of that piece 
to give it a protection. So we're going to keep heating this one with this hand, just kind of up here in the flame, while our other hand is gathering. Should have normally used the peaker base, but it's what I had in front of me right now, demo purposes. Like Emilio Santini says, it's only the demo. It's only the demo. So I'm gonna get that hot piece, stick it right on top, marry it basically into that top piece, and I'm gonna add some more clear to this. Now the reason we're doing this, and we had kind of like an egg shape, was we needed to protect the amber purple or whatever other color we're putting under there, which I think I used was a Momka color, that's right. So now I want to get that clear, melt that clear back over so it meets the other clear and it encases the top of that jellyfish inside of here. And then it gives like a magnification, see? If you can see that there. And then we let that clear kind of droop. We're going to hold the glass down. So get that real hot up here. And then it's going to start drooping down. As you start heating a little lower and a little lower. And you'll see it'll all start becoming one. When it all becomes one and you cleared everything. And what I like to do is heat the whole thing together and make it one. What I'm doing now is just making sure it got a nice little round shape to it. Then I'm going to attach my punty to the top and disattach from our blow tube. some of that excess glass on the bottom. Give it a nice tapered shape. I tend to pull like little stringers off my glass. A lot of guys won't like that, but hey, I own my own shop. And we have a jellyfish pendant. At this point, we would bail it up. For demo purposes, I'm just going to give it a quick oxygen here. This is something I wouldn't normally do, but I'm trying to cool it down without hurting it, but yet being even. Jellyfish pendant. Now what I do is I grab one side, heat it up real good. Just one side. And then I just put it on my marber. Flatten that little piece. Then I grab some black and I'm going to back it right here with some back real quick.
Not that black in. Well, I'm not disturbing your shape, obviously. And here you go. And that is a mushroom pendant. Thank you.